So I met up with a friend for lunch, and that was a lot of fun talking about faith and friends and family and things going on. Seasons. Seasons when people are in your life and for a period of time. I've been thinking about telling stories. So the key to one of the keys to content creation success are telling stories people want to hear and using stories as a framework to get information out there. And so the challenge for me has been how do I craft stories and how do I use that to share good information that helps people accomplish their goals. You know, because I go through my head and I think of, I think of lots of stories and going through this story worthy book, it made me think of a lot of stories in my life that have happened that, so I was thinking about, I was like 17, 16, I don't know, 17, I'll say I was 17, I don't know how it was. No, I'm gonna say 16. And I'm walking on the beach and this girl comes up to me and starts talking to me and she's from Ohio. And, I'm not supposed to use and. You know, you're supposed to have a but or therefore. Maybe therefore is not. You know, you kind of like, where does the story go next? Well, <clears throat> so it was cool. We, we hung out together like all day. I'd go check in with my parents because it's still the age where you went to the beach with your parents. And I'd check with them, but they'd let me kind of wander around or whatever as long as I didn't get too far away from the hotel. And I can't remember if she was staying in, her family was staying in the same hotel or not. But we wound up being pen pals. And the funny thing is I was writing some screenplays then. Yes, at 17, I wanted to write scripts for movies and produce movies. And so I did lots of ands there. I'm not supposed to use ands. And I had written, by this time I had written like three different scripts. I don't know if they were good. I'm sure they weren't. Uh, I, because I'm crazy, you know, we became pen pals. I mailed my scripts to her, the original copies now, <laughs> to her in my really bad handwriting. Her mom read my scripts and said, oh, these are really good. So, I thought that was cool, but I guess she was just being nice. And there's that and again. So, I think, by the time I was 19, I wanted to go visit her. Um, I wanted to rent a car, because my car was not fit for driving that far, 13 hour drive. Ohio, she, she lived in Ohio. Funny enough, lived in Cleveland. They were still building the rocket, they had just announced that they were gonna build the rocket roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. It's kind of excited about that. So my friend Jeff's mom says she'll rent a car for me, but that I'll have to drive. So I know 10 minutes violation of the uh, lease agreement, I guess, the rental agreement. Yeah, I was old enough to rent the car, but I drove it. So we drive up to Cleveland and I meet her mom. I guess her, her mom's divorced and she and her sister live with her. And her mom was so awesome to us. I mean, just so awesome. Took us out to this really nice restaurant, wouldn't let us pay for anything. And just fantastic. Had a great time. You know, in my head, I'm sure I was thinking, oh, I, you know, this beautiful girl would love to, uh, you know, be more than just pen pals. And. No, I could tell that you weren't you weren't meant to be. So, so I didn't pursue it because it just the vibe was not there. Her mom actually was nicer to us than she was the time we were there. I guess you know I 
told her we were coming and I said, oh yeah, it'd be great and everything. I guess maybe she thought I wasn't really going to do it. Um, but, I mean, we had a good time. I learned things that I was ignorant about. Like, for example, I just had this crazy assumption that only people in the South listen to country music. And her mom was like a huge country music fan. I mean, I didn't even know they had radio. They even had country music stations. This is ignorance. I, I admit this. And so the other thing that kind of blew my mind was that, you know, the city of Cleveland was surrounded by interstates. I had never, culture shock for me, I had never been, I guess I was 17 when this happened. It wasn't 19, I was 17. 18. I don't even know how that was. That's crazy. But so the point was, is that I was blown away by the fact that this town surrounded by interstates. I'd never seen a, a town like that. And well, it was a city. And it was a series of bars, literally one right after the other. They're all linked together. So it's like the street where there were all these bars at that people went to. Now, granted, we weren't going to go to bars, but it just blew my mind that you'd put a bar right beside another bar beside another bar and that people would just go from one bar to the other to the other right through there'd be doors in between them so it's the craziest thing to me so um came back home and I we sent her mom like a big bouquet of flowers because she was just so awesome to us such hospitality just amazing um so we had such a wonderful time there you know, I picked up all my scripts and brought them home. And, uh, you know, how do you take storytelling and tie that into content creation? I'm gonna figure this out. I have to solve this puzzle. I'm always trying to solve puzzles. So, yeah. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.